Hi, welcome back. The problem today is about the exponential equation that have the x domain is real numbers. Now, let's get started. We have square root of 3 minus square root of 2 equal to uh, power of x plus square root of 3 plus square root of 2 power of x equal to square root of 5 power of x so to uh, so this kind of form in the exponential equation we just simple divide it two sides of equation by the right hand side it means we divide both sides of in equation is uh, square root of 5 power of x then it will be square root of 3 minus square root of 2 over square root of 5 power of x plus square root of 3 plus square root of 2 over square root of 5 power of x equal to 1. Now we see that square root of 3 minus square root of 2 is smaller than square root of 5. So, and this greater than 0. So it means square root of 3 minus square root of 2 over square root of 5 smaller than 1 and greater than 0. On the other hand, we have square root of 3 plus square root of 5, square root of 2, greater than square root of 5. Then, square root of 3 plus square root of 2, greater over square root of 5, greater than 1. By this way, we can have the substitution like square root of 3 minus square root of 2 over square root of 5 equal to a and a is smaller than 1 and square root of 3 plus square root of 2 over square root of 5 equal to b of course b greater than 1 then we have a power of x plus b power of x equal to 1. We have the property of the exponential function that if x greater or equal than 0 and a number we call case power of x then this on way greater or greater than 1. And in this case B is greater than 1, so B power of X have to be greater than 1. So for the case X greater or equal than 0, I power of X plus B power of X always greater than 1. So the equality cannot happen. It's impossible. So there's no root in this case. So x belong to empty. So we check to another case that x is smaller than zero. If x is smaller than zero, we have the property that if k is smaller than one, so k is power of x have to be greater than one. Similarly, we have a smaller than 1 as the substitution we uh, put above. Then we have a power of x has to be greater than 1. So a power of x plus b power of x on way greater than 1. Then again, the equality can happen. So x 
belong to empty again. Conclusion x is belong to empty. It means this equation have no solution, no root. So the main lesson of this equation is about the property of the exponential equation, exponential function. If x greater than zero, then the case case greater or equal than one, k power of x greater or equal than one. If case is smaller or equal than one, then case power of x greater or equal than one with the case x is smaller than zero. So we apply this for a and b. Then we have the result. Finally, we will see x is the empty. That's all. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.